Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. So uh, apparently somebody actually liked one of my videos, they uh, pressed liked, which is pretty cool, but I'm guessing that was my mother. So anyway, uh, why are we here? Well, we're here because you want to learn how to do a ghost effect in your video. For whatever reason you wish to do this, so I've got a little clip example here already done so I can show you what I mean. So we have this uh, brutally handsome looking actor here and this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to drag the slider because I can't be bothered pressing play. So here he is talking away and all of a sudden a second one appears. As you can see it's slightly transparent, it's got that ghost effect. He's looking around, not too happy that he's there, sees this guy blabbling along and decides well punch him out. So, yeah, bam, let's do it again. So, how do we make this ghost appearance? As you can see, one is transparent, one is just looking originally. So, very simple. Let's clear the footage out of the timeline so we can start again. Well, what you need to do is you need to make one continuous footage. I've, I've got one here. So here's the first character, just doing what he needs to do, uh, and then he pretends to get hit, and then he's out of sh out of the shot, and then he comes back in, and here's a second character, uh, now he has to pretend to be the ghost, yeah, looking around, what the hell's happened, so he pretends to see a guy talking, and yeah, takes him out as well, yeah, yeah, look, he's laughing like, yeah, uh, God, he's ugly, isn't he? So that's what we do. Now, also what I did, uh, I trimmed the beginning of the clip because I don't really need that footage where I'm walking in and doing what I need to do. If you don't know how to trim it, just see my very first video and it'll teach you how to trim a clip. Now, I've already done the trimming, so I'm going to drag it into the timeline. Now, there is a bit of audio with this, so I don't want that, so I'm going to split my audio and then I'm just going to delete that because I don't really need all that extra audio especially with my kids screaming in the background and whatnot. So you drag it along. Let's fit this uh, into the project file. Let's drag it along until uh, he goes off shot. I'll make my first cut there because I don't need all this empty footage. Now the second person's coming in, he'll start to act about here. I'll cut that out. And then I can delete the center. So here I have now my second footage, which I'm going to put in my overlay track, drag it right at the end, and he will then appear. So to do this, very simple, I'm going to fit to original size first, and then I'm going to go to keep aspect ratio, which then perfectly inlines my overlay clip with the first clip. Now, if I move my footage, there we go, sorry about that, my computer's rather slow today. So as you can see, here it is. Now you can't see the other guy because the overlay clip is completely taken over. So what we need to do is double click, go into mask and chroma key, and you'll see here, this is your transparency window. You can do two things, you can, you know, click 50 times and get 50% or you can use a slider and just drag it along until yeah, 48 will do me. So as you can see now it's starting to appear but it's still not good enough because now this guy is also transparent and I don't want that to happen. I just want this guy to be transparent. So I'm going to apply it to the overlay like so. So now as you can see it comes back nice and sharp. If we look at our footage again, voila! Now we have two people, both acting pretty badly. And uh, now it's just a matter of uh, timing the footage. <laughs> As you can see, one guy. I tell you what, though, I'm glad my wife didn't leave a G string hanging here because that would be really embarrassing for her. <laughs> So, um, how do we align it? Well, 
simple mathematics really. This footage here, if we move the slider along, will tell me at what point this individual tends to get hit. Dun, dun, right about here. So we can see that, let's say it's at the 15 second mark. So then we can go to our second footage and then find out at what point does he pretend to hit. So then, 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 then boof. So it's about at the 12 second mark. 13 second mark. So there's a difference of two seconds. So what we need to do is just, you guessed it, move the bottom clip two seconds along. It really is that simple. I'm amazed that I even worked all this out. So now this is not two seconds. <laughs> I made that mistake. It's uh, let's just find out where the two second mark is. There's a two second mark. So all I need to do is grab my clip. If there we go. It really is not working today well for me. Uh, two seconds. Here we go. So hopefully, if my maths are correct, which I highly doubt because I I only went to school to eat my lunch. Let's let's see. So here we go, the guy's coming out. Blah, 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 blah. He's a terrible actor, I really should fire him, get someone decent. And then, bam! Alright, so there you go. So you got a bit of unwanted footage here, we don't want that. So let's tidy that up a bit. Uh, let's just clip the end footage. Delete, be done with that. Now most probably, it's always worth checking. Really dread, see, there was even if it's a second or a split of a second, it actually appears and it just, you know, makes it look terrible. So, there you go. That's how we do it. Obviously, um, my timing is a little bit off, but I'm not here about timing. I'm, I'm teaching you how to make the ghost effect. So all you have to do, you know, is just do your timing a bit better than I have. But you get the general idea. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a nice day.